We've got our liquid heating up here. So far I've already put in the water. Next I'm going to add, um, so usually it's equal parts water to equal parts rice vinegar. And actually, I'm just gonna skip a step. We're gonna pour that right in. And then basically, so it's equal parts water to vinegar for your liquid. And then the biggest thing is you wanna make sure you add that flavor, right? So salt, you're definitely gonna need salt. Um, I recommend a good heaping teaspoon. Now, usually you've probably seen a lot of people do honey, uh, or I'm sorry, sugar, but I like to use something local and it's a little bit more of a healthy choice. So I am adding honey. Um, if you like a sweeter pickle, add more honey. If you like a saltier pickle, add more salt, kind of vice versa. That's one of my favorite things about this recipe recipe is that you can just kind of adjust to your own flavor. So it's pretty much hot here. I'm going to say we go for it. So yeah, so I'm going to do this part. So you're just going to pour your hot liquid into your jar. Now we've got two here because we made one with jalapenos that we added to make it spicy. And then we've got one without it here. And then at this point, you're just gonna wanna leave the jar out on your counter until it's room temp. Um, and then you can put a cap on it. And like I said, these are refrigerator pickles. These aren't necessarily pantry pickles. Um, so I would keep them in your fridge. But that being said, with the salt and the vinegar, they're gonna last in your fridge for quite a few weeks. Um, I'd recommend two to four, but I've gone much longer. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, great. Um, so now, and, uh, this is, we'll talk more after the break about uh, where we got our stuff from, how you can change up this recipe, um, and then things that these pickles are going to go really great with. Definitely. And we'll taste them. Yes, of course, yeah. the best part. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Alex. For more information, you can check out our website, upmatters.com, and tune to Local 3 News tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central for more local news, weather, and sports.